Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a marvelous couple in love that loves reacting to some Marvel trailers. And if you've watched us from the very beginning, you know how much we love Marvel. Yes, you do. And it is Miss Marvel's trailer Ooh. coming out on Disney+. Plus. So uh, it's a character that, I've said this before, but I'm not really super familiar with. I know her from video games only. I don't really know her from the comics. She kind of came out after I'd stopped uh, really religiously reading uh, comic books. And so... I'm not totally familiar with everything that she she can do. I know she can like kind of like do something super like stretch Armstrong kind of things with uh, <laughs> like Mr. Fantastic, and uh, yeah. So and she's like supposed to be kind of have like you know kind of that uh, Spider-Man like teenager uh, funny kind of vibe. So nice. See. Yeah, she's like a she's like a fan of of superheroes, and then she becomes a superhero. I just so. love that you said you stopped religiously reading comic books because I thought you were about to say you stopped reading comic books. I was like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But he, he slipped the religiously in there. Yeah, so like, exactly, exactly. So, right, no, I mean, just, now I'm a little bit more casual. A little more casual about it. But, uh, you know, I'm going to have to get back into it. All right, so here we go. Here we go. All right, so what do you think? I'm so on board for this. <laughs> She's different from like your standard cookie cutter superhero, which I love. It makes her more interesting. This whole thing seems, it almost feels more like 80s coming of age vibe than it feels like typical Marvel vibe. Mm, okay, um, yeah, yeah, I can see so, it, especially with, yeah, the music. Exactly, yeah, so kind of like that new tone to it as well. I think my, my only hesitation is like the pop-up bubbles and stuff. <laughs> I hope they're at a minimum. Yeah, I mean... This is, that's just my only thing, because like when it first started and they were all over the place, I was like, wait, we're not basically going to have subtitles through comic pop-ups, are we? Like, that takes up a lot of screen space and it's just not needed. <laughs> but then as it fell away, I was like, okay, I can get on board with it like slipping in every now and then for a yeah, little bit yeah. of style. That's fine. I think it's like to kind of, I don't know, I mean... Showcase her, her her imagination and like a, a little bit like you said of style to it, make it again a little bit different than um, the other Marvel shows uh, that we've seen so far. Uh, my only reservation about it so far is that like I mean, sometimes the Spider-Man movies in, uh, in the MCU, especially like the first one, m more than anything else, was a little bit too like teen oriented. And I get it; she is a teenager, and so it, it needs to have that element in it, but. So much what I love about the, the Marvel movies is that it appeals to such a wide range of, uh, of ages. Um, and so it's got a little bit of something in there for everybody. So I hope that like this has it in there as well. And I think I've heard something else when she had asked, like, do you even know what you are? I think Miss Marvel is an inhuman. Ah, um, okay. So I think maybe the Eternals are going to are, are gonna maybe make a, an appearance in that. I, again, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to remember what I what I thought of. I'm like, I'm actually trying to remember of the synergy that I had with some of uh, my, my teams. I'm just like, did she have any human synergy? Did, was she a part of that team in the games that I played? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I was thinking when I saw that. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, she, uh, her powers look cool, and uh, it looks like a fun show, and um, it's always great to learn more about a character that you don't know, you know enough about, and maybe that they're kind of building up the, the, the new Avengers, and so we'll see uh, how it goes, and yeah, I mean, I'm excited about it. Yeah, for sure. I also love the diversity of this. We don't often see... Um, and, and it looks like from, from the little bit that we saw during the prayer service that she is Muslim. We don't often mm -hmm. see Muslim heroes. Um, you know, it's funny she referred to herself as just a brown girl from Jersey. But like how wonderful that she gets to be a hero. That it's not the cookie cutter. It's mm -hmm. not the Captain America type. It's, you know, it's something different. And I think Marvel is doing a nice job of building out more diversity so that kids from all over the place can look at a superhero of, of some variety and say, that could be me. And yeah. I love that. <laughs> Definitely. That's a, that's a nice sentiment. Yeah, like, like that anyone can like, look it up and say, yeah, that can be me. Yeah. So, as you can see, she's a big fan of Captain Marvel. Mm. Um, that, is, that, that is her hero in her... It's a good inspiration. Yeah. Pretty so, powerful inspiration. So it'd be cool to see uh, Captain Marvel in this. I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, I feel like she's got to show up some, somewhere in this. Uh, you think any other cameos? I think so. I think some Eternals. I think Captain Marvel. Maybe Doctor Strange, um, just because he seems to be like in everything now. <laughs> um, so I'm also just thinking of ones that are located in that in that area, the New yeah. York area. Maybe Kate Bishop or Yelena. I was thinking um, of Kate Bishop, was possibly. Yeah. Even well, and it depends, or possibly, and there's talk of like the new Captain Marvel as something that might have been hinted at in the Doctor Strange, so then it wouldn't be our typical Captain Marvel. Brie Larson? It wouldn't be Brie Larson, but it would be whoever is picking up the mantle of Captain Marvel, which might be um, from oh, WandaVision. Oh, uh, Photon. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I, 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 uh, Monica Rambo. Yes, Mon there it is, Monica Rambo. Yeah, Monica Rambo. okay, yeah, I could see that as well. Um, and then like maybe America Chavez ties in, in this as well, because she's, she's in the new Doctor Strange movie. So, I mean, there's a lot of potential for cameos in this one. So it'll be interesting to see uh, who makes an appearance and who they kind of like tie it into um, with this, the whole world that they're creating and uh, the multiverse and everything. And so there's just like, you know, endless possibilities as to like, who's gonna make an appearance on this one. I feel like you'd have to watch it like a, a few more times to see if I catch anything, like any like Easter eggs or whatever. Uh, I'm sure that Marvel there. always does Easter eggs. Right? Yeah. I'm sure, like, yeah. there are probably a ton of people who are gonna be able to tell us some Easter eggs. Oh, I'm and sure, please yeah. Please do. <laughs> And so let us know what you thought about this trailer down below in the comments and um, what you're excited about for it and if you're familiar with the character and or if this is someone that's going to be brand new to you. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Miss Marvel trailer coming out on Disney+. Plus. Just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.